All right. Um, I'm here to show you guys my uh, latest pedal. Uh, it's uh, the Boss ODB3 Bass Overdrive. Um, I will admit, I only got this because of the badass sounds that I've seen Flea get out of it in uh, some of the solos that he does live. Uh, and, you know, I've seen some very good reviews of it. Uh, it keeps tons and tons of the low end. Uh, which is something very good. Uh, I had another fuzz pedal that <laughs> couldn't do that sort of thing, and it sounded a bit, you know, terrible. Um, whereas this pedal keeps a lot of the low end, and it's not even set to, you know, having as much as it can. If I set that to full, it's like... It's almost too much low end, so you know it's always good to have that sort of feature to mess around with. Um, you also get uh, the EQ can cover both high and low, so you can also you know put up the high end and you know lower the low end a bit, and you get sort of this sound. It's uh I don't know if it's as usable as the other ones but you know it's 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 fun to be able to screw around with this sort of thing you know changing the high and low EQs uh you know the level knob doesn't you know, it doesn't do much besides you know allow you to uh to sort of balance out the clean and uh effect signals just to give it some nice evenness throughout unless you're using a compressor where it wouldn't really matter as much but you know it's still good to have um, the balance controls how much distortion to how much clean signal there is if you take it down here it's pretty much like the clean signal so you know um, you can kind of blend that in be able to a full-on distortion. Which is nice. As, as, as I said, it, it gives you a lot of options. You know, I like having it around here to have a bit of clean, um, you know, I don't like it full distortion just because, I don't know, it sounds a bit too overpowering. Uh, it's good to have a bit of the clean signal in there as well. Gain, uh, pretty much, controls controls how, you know, how big the sound is. Um, I wouldn't say it's just like a volume because it isn't, but, you know, the important thing is that it keeps the the you know, clean, low end, nice, uh, no matter how much gain you put in there. And you know, you can get some um, really nice sounds from it. Uh, let's hear it with a pick. Again, um, some really nice sounds from it, uh, whether you play with a pick uh, or whether you're playing you know, with your fingers. Um, overall, I would definitely recommend this pedal uh, if you want to get this sort of sound. Um, you know, it's, it's just such a nice pedal. Um, I got mine from eBay, so I got it a bit, a bit less uh, expensive than usual, but it usually costs around 70-something pounds. Uh, which would be about 90 something dollars maybe um, not too sure but yeah it's not a not too expensive for how good it is I mean let's compare it to 
my other pedal, which is um, which is uh, this over here, and you know, if I put up the fuzz a bit. See, it sounds as good. It sounds good, um, but I don't know. This one seems a bit more, you know, gritty, sort of. Yeah, it's a great pedal. Definitely recommend it. Um, go to your local guitar shop try one out, see whether you like it or not, and if you do, then it's definitely something worth going for. So don't hesitate when thinking about buying it or not. I, I definitely give this a really good thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up.